is Isis. She's four and she's been with us seven, eight weeks now, something like that. I've worked her in hand three times now um, and she's got quite a, a good aptitude for her lateral work and responds really well. Um, but I suppose a lot of people might go, well, what exactly is working in hand? And most people would think, I guess, lunging and long reining and maybe using the various trappings and training aids that you can get with that. But with working in hand, you can take it a stage further, especially when you want to do lateral work and start to really establish a good contact. So what I'm going to do with Isis, we're just going to be working on really basic stuff today. So when I'm starting to walk a horse in hand, obviously I establish the ground rules, the normal walk forward and halt. I make sure that they can move away from lateral pressure. So if I touch on the side, I just want to step away. Hey, 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 hey. Both sides. So over, over, good mare, steady. And I'd want to go back for a touch in the chest. Go back and preferably not take a chunk out of my arm. And then we take that a stage further. So Isis doesn't particularly like me on her offside. So I'm gonna start on her offside. Now I'm gonna hold one rein fairly close to the bit. Now I have a bad habit of letting this hand drift and getting too far behind the shoulder. That's, woo, that's my bad habit and it's quite common. And this hand is going to be holding the rest of the rein. Hey, 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 hang on, let me just bring her round. Steady, come round. Good girl, and stand. Whoa. Oh, there you are. Going to be holding the rest of the rein, taking the contact on the outside, and also I'm going to be using my left hand just to touch her when I want her to move away from me. I've also got a schooling whip, that if I need to, I can just touch her on the bum, just to give her a cue to walk forwards. Okay. Oi, and stand, whoa, stand. Good girl. Now walk on, walk in on. Now I'm gonna use my breath and my stride to try and get some regularity in her walk. Steady. That's it. She's a little antsy today. Good girl, walking on. So I don't want her to just charge off with me. She walks a lot faster than I do, given half the choice, steady. So I'm just trying to get her to walk nice and calm and straight and to a degree, match my footfall. Steady, good girl. Ah, woo, stand, good girl. And walk, eh, 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 walk on. Walk away, away. Good girl. Now I've already warmed her up a little bit. So I'm gonna turn her right now. Steady. Now, I want her to step to the left. So when this right hind comes forward, I'm gonna touch her on the side. Over, over, over. Over, over, over. Steady. Walk on, bub. Walk on. Okay, we had to stop just now because uh, our yard owner wanted to bring a couple of tractors out, which he's doing now. So we're just gonna pick up where we left off. So I'm gonna be turning her down the three quarter line and leg yielding right. So you notice my body position, I'm trying to stay as much at her shoulder as I can, and I'm using my gait to help try and regulate the pace. So I'm now gonna ask her to step over. So when this, hey, 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 hey. Over, 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 over. Good girl, that's really good. I'm just going to go the other way. Ah, woo, stand. Good girl. So, I'm just changing everything around. So again, no, woo, stand. So now I've got, I've got two tractors out there now, which is brilliant. Um, I've now got my schooling whip in my right hand and taking the outside rein again with my right hand. This is the hand I tend to slide up the rein a little bit more than the other one. Go on, Bubba. Go on. Walk on. Good girl. 
Yeah, good lady. That's a good girl. So you'll see from behind this time. So I'm trying to influence the inside hind to step over. Steady. It's okay. Good girl. Good. Yeah, good girl. Well done, Baba. Good lady. So we're turning up now. Good girl. Go on. I'm going to leg you back to the fence. So when that inside hind comes over, I'm just touching her. Over. 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 Good girl. Well done. Good lady. That's it. Let's see if I can get her to stretch down a little bit. There we are. Good girl. No, as I am trying to keep as much concentration on my gait as possible. Because the last thing she wants when you're trying to get a nice steady walk is me kind of Benny Hill walking alongside her. It's just not going to work. I'm going to create too much energy. Steady. Let's see. Look at my hand creeping up the rain. That's my, when I lose my concentration, that's my fault. Steady. Good girl. And I'm turning now. Good girl. When I turn, I'm just lifting my inside hand a little bit. Oh yeah, and that makes you cross. Over. 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 Good girl. I'm letting her stretch a bit. Oh yeah, walk on. Walk on. Good girl. This is really good to do some bonding with your horse as well as teach them the basics. I mean, so many people get on board and then just expect horses to understand how to move laterally without ever doing the groundwork. And over, over, over. And I'm using, good girl, well done, good lady. I'm using my hand where my leg would be. Yeah, good. So hopefully then the aid becomes transferable. So I would expect after doing this, well, probably even once, I would expect to get a degree of lateral step and turn in because she would understand. Steady, go on. Good girl, over, 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 over. Yeah, oh, good lady, well done. Good girl. Yeah, and stretch in, and stretch. Yeah, good lady. And yes, now I know my hands come back up the rain this time, but I wanted to, because I don't really fancy walking along with my, hey, 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 with my head and my hand. Oh, walk on, come on. Walking on, up, up, walk on. Good girl. I don't fancy my head and my hand being down by her mouth when she's stretching, so then it's okay. Good girl. Now, I'm gonna progress this exercise just a little bit. I'm not gonna to do too much today. I know that she's fine with travers and half pass and everything in hand, because she just gets it. So, it may be a little difficult to see, but standing on this side, walking on, I'm gonna do a little bit of shoulder in, coming down the school to the left-hand side of me. The aids are exactly the same, but obviously you don't have your seat to direct. So I'm going to be lifting my inside hand a little bit to ask for a little bit of neck bend, whilst keeping, obviously, the outside rein is going to nicely lay across her neck. And I'm going to ask her to step under, whoops, steady, using my right hand. Let's just move this rein a bit. Good girl. Now, I'm going to let her come off the corner first, as opposed to simply just letting her fall into it. So I'm just going to ask to slow it steady. Good, good. So I'm just touching her. Good. Just when I want that inside hind to step under. Good girl. I mean, the angle is more than I'd want ideally, but she's four. So she's a little bit on four tracks. That's okay. Good lady. And we'll stand, we'll stand. 
Oh, stand. I just want to give her a treat. And I'll just do that same exercise the other way. Yeah, yeah. Mummy's a vending machine. What a good girl. And if you've noticed that by keeping my breath nice and steady, keeping my pace nice and steady, she's an awful lot calmer than she was three or four minutes ago. Good girl. That's it. No more sweeties yet. And walk on. Good girl. Yeah, good lady. I'm not having to to pull her or to keep her walk on a little bit. She's just she's stride matching. Steady. Good girl. I'm just going to turn her now. That's it. Hey, 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 wait. She loses a little regularity in her shoulder in at the moment. That's okay. We're not looking for perfect. I'm looking for her to respond to the aid. You can polish it later. Actually, I'm a bit off the track. I'll just move it over. So I'm going to lift my inside hand. Hey, hey. Good girl. Good. Over. Well, that was a little untidy, but bless her, she really tried. Good girl. And stretch. The stretch is really important too. The last thing you want is them to be up in your hand all the time. It's going to make them cross and it's going to make them sore. Good girl. So I'm asking for the stretch the same way I would if I was riding. I'm just giving a little feel left and right and stretch. Ooh, ah, baba. Steady. And I'm just letting her take as much rain as she dare. Good girl. Steady. That's it. And woo, stand. Ooh, and stand. Well, that's a bit rude. You bumped to the camera. Turn around, Baba. One more. Good girl. Yeah, what a calm girl. And we'll progress this exercise. We'll do a we'll do a video, perhaps next week or the week after, with the travers and the half pass, as well. But for a starter, go out and have a poke and a play. They respond really quickly, and you'll find it will improve your ridden work massively. Oh girl, yeah, no more sweets. Yeah, good lady. Yeah, very good.